Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update September 3rd, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 277. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Xin Zhao Ling's latest drama and more pictures of Xiao Zhan in military gear. But as always, we begin with what's premiered recently. Sisyphus premiered yesterday, August 2nd. Wang Qianyuan plays a police officer who pursues a suspected serial killer played by Lu Han and in the process dies together with him. When he wakes up, he finds himself in the past reliving the same day of his death over and over again. The drama is available on IQ.com with English subs. It is slated for 12 episodes and I'm looking forward to checking it out shortly. And that's really all that's premiered in the past couple of days. Moving on, here's Cute Programmer. Cute Programmer is an upcoming modern drama starring Xin Zhao Ling and Ban Bi Zhu, and they started filming last week. Here are the two stars at the booting ceremony brandishing red envelopes. So this is a good time for me to address those red envelopes. I remember reading a comment asking what they are. These red envelopes contain monetary gifts, aka cash. They are usually gifted on special occasions like the Lunar New Year, weddings, or the birth of a baby. But truth be told, they can be given at any time. It's just more presentable to give money in a red envelope than to say, congratulations, here's some cash. But personally, I'll take the cash, sans envelope, no problem. Anyway, Ban Bijou plays a programmer who applies for work at a company but discovers that the company doesn't hire girls. No folks, this drama is not set in the Stone Age, it's set in modern day China. It's just another one of those drama logic things. Otherwise, Bambi's character wouldn't get the chance to disguise herself as a boy to get into the company. Which is exactly what she does, because she has this huge crush on one of the company's programmers played by Xin Zhao Ling. One thing leads to another, and they end up living together and becoming a contract couple, and of course, eventually falling in love. Both stars are coming off filming exciting projects. Xin Zhao Ling just wrapped filming The Eternal Love 3 with Liang Jie, and Ban Bi Zhu just wrapped filming Miss the Dragon with Dylan Wang. Cute Programmer is directed by Wu Qiang, who brought us well-intended love earlier this year. More updates on this drama as they provide them. To Dear Myself is an upcoming modern drama starring Cecilia Liu and Zhu Yilong and they've officially announced a September 7th premiere. It is a female-centric drama which follows three women played by Cecilia Liu, Eddie Khan and Chen Miqi and delves into their troubled romances and careers. Their male counterparts are played by Zhu Yilong, Peng Guanying and Li Zifeng. Cecilia Liu took a break from work since announcing her pregnancy last year and this drama marks her long-awaited comeback. And what a great comeback pairing it is with Zhu Yilong. Cecilia's most recent drama to air was If I Can Love You So with Tong Dawei and before that she starred in Lost in Love Times with William Chan. Zhu Yilong has been topping drama actor charts with his recent hit drama, Reunion, The Sound of the Providence. To Dear Myself will premiere on Hunan TV and Mango TV. I will update again on where to watch with English subs. And staying on Cecilia Liu, here's an update on My Best Friend's Story. My Best Friend's Story is an upcoming modern drama starring Cecilia Liu and Nini, and they recently released some new character posters. Cecilia Liu and Nini play two women from different backgrounds who forge a deep friendship and help each other through thick and thin. The drama wrapped filming recently and will probably air sometime next year. And before we get to Xiao Zhan and Daniel Wu, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix and other websites. 
ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12 month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus Sim. So not long ago, I did an episode about a rumor that was floating around many Chinese entertainment sites. It claimed that Xiao Zhan was filming a military drama with Johnny Huang entitled Ace Force. This was the picture they were basing it on. In it, Xiao Zhan, or maybe a Xiao Zhan look-alike, is on the left, Johnny Huang is on the right, and they're both interacting with a female cast member. After some discussions with commenters and other well-informed Xiao Zhan fans, I think the consensus was that this was fake news, that it was just internet trolls telling bedtime stories. It was also deduced that the pictures were taken from an old Johnny Huang show. I tried to find out which show it was but couldn't figure it out. Anyway, it seems in the past few days, more pictures have surfaced. These were also allegedly taken on the set of Ace Force. Here's Xiao Zhan in military gear getting touch-ups from a makeup artist. Here's another in military uniform. And here's another in the same military uniform with a red hydrangea around the chest. This usually signifies a wedding. Looking at these pics, I don't think there's any doubting that is Xiao Zhan in the picture. The question is, what set are these pictures being taken from? There still hasn't been any official announcement from Xiao Zhan or Johnny Huang or the drama, so until that happens, anything said about it is just conjecture. We'll see what, if anything, gets announced in the near future. And before I let you guys go, I'll leave you guys with this. Daniel Wu offers $15,000 reward for information on elderly woman's assault. On July 14th, an 89-year-old woman was assaulted on a street in Brooklyn, New York. Speaking in Cantonese through a translator, she said that she had never before seen the men who attacked her. She said that they didn't say a word to her, they just slapped her across the face and set her clothes on fire. Fortunately, she was able to put out the fire quickly and didn't suffer any major injuries. This is a still of the suspects captured on surveillance video. The elderly woman said that she didn't tell her family what happened until the next day because she didn't want her kids to worry. So reportedly, movie star Daniel Wu has offered $15,000 for information leading to the arrest of the two suspects. He said that he was appalled to read the news and that everyone should stand up to hateful actions like this. Daniel has starred in several movies in Hong Kong and mainland China. The Chinese-American actor most recently starred in the AMC series Into the Badlands. There's been an increase of incidents like this recently, and it's sad that it's happening to of all people, the elderly. If there's one word to describe these acts, it's cowardly. Hopefully the suspects get arrested soon, and if convicted, get the book thrown at them. And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, the link is in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions in one of my YouTube episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!